Hi and welcome to the video on the ANOVA test for the Biology IA. We're going to think about um, why we're going to use this test, what the null hypothesis would be, how we'll calculate ANOVA and how we interpret the results. And these are the bits that need to go into your IA uh, report. Okay, so just a quick breakdown of which test you should use. So have a quick read and make sure that this is the correct test um, for you to use. Uh, we use the ANOVA test when you have three or more means to compare. So for example, there might be like different genres of music as your independent variable. There might be different eye colours. Um, anything where you can compare in means of different groups. Um, oh, this is why we use it. We've just gone through that. Okay, to carry out the ANOVA test, you go into first write your null hypothesis in your IA. So the null hypothesis will state that there will be no significant difference among the different groups. So you can change that there and um, insert your uh, independent variable rather than just saying a generic different groups. We're going to use this SOC size statistics website. So go to SOC size statistics and choose calculators and then choose the one way ANOVA calculator for independent measures. Uh, I think it's the first one in the calculator section actually. You then go into enter your data for your different groups that you've got. So if it was different genres of music, you'll enter each different genre. Um, and you go into choose the 0 0.05 significance level and click calculate. Now 0 0.05 significance is what we always use in biology. And it means that there is a 5% probability that the results are due to chance rather than the variables that you're testing. The output of the test should look something like this. There's quite a few tables, so you have to scroll down to find this, but we're looking for the F ratio value and the P value. How we're going to interpret this is that if the F value is over 1, then we're going to reject the null hypothesis, so therefore there is a significant difference among the groups. Um, if your F value is below 1, then you can accept the null hypothesis, so there is no significant difference among the groups. Again, 0 0.05 significance level. The reason we've used that is because there's a 5% probability that the results are due to chance. This needs to be in your assignment. Um, if the p-value is below 0 0.05, the null hypothesis can be rejected. Therefore, there is a difference among the groups. So you'll see whenever you put your um, results in that the interpretation of the f and p-value should marry up. Um, and that's all you really need to put into the report. So you just need to make sure that it's clear that you have understood why you're using this test and what it actually means. You can discuss it further in your conclusion section.